All right, let's get into some single table queries. First, I'm gonna introduce you to what I call the big six elements of a SQL statement. First, we have select and from. Select is where you identify the columns that you wanna pull into your results, and from is where you identify the table from which to pull those columns. The syntax looks just like this. Select some column name from some table name. The really nice thing about SQL is the syntax is pretty intuitive. You're pretty much just typing out what you wanna do, selecting some data from some table. So this one's not too hard to remember. Every SQL statement that you're gonna write will contain a select and a from. The other four components of the big six are optional, and we'll get into those now. The where clause is optional. This is how you're gonna specify some filtering criteria to limit the amount of results that come out in your data set. The syntax looks like this. It's appended after the from, and you end up with select some column name from some table name where some logical condition is true. Next, we have group by, which is also optional. Group by allows us to segment our data and do aggregate level analysis. Folks who are familiar with Excel may think of group by as sort of like the pivot function. The syntax looks like this. It comes after where, and what we end up with is Select some column name from some table name where logical condition is true, grouped by some column name. Now, having is also optional, but can only be used when grouped by is present. The where clause filters individual records. Having filters specific groups based on certain criteria. Having comes after grouped by, and the syntax looks like this. Remember, you can't have having without grouped by because it's a group level filtering criteria. Finally, we have order by. Order by always comes last of the big six, and order by is how we sort our records. The syntax looks like this, order by some column name, 